My name is Michael Stevens and I'm a pediatric gastroenterologist uh, and I'm a member of the IBD program at the Mayo Clinic. I want to talk about uh, an article that just came out looking at something called the microbiome in children with Crohn's disease in comparison to healthy children. What we think is going on in patients who develop Crohn's disease is there's a dysfunctional interface with the types of bacteria bacteria and other organisms that colonize their gut. This study looked at the differences in the types of organisms that are colonizing healthy children versus children with Crohn's disease. What's exciting about it is how many patients were involved. Uh, there were almost 700 patients in total and over 400 of them had Crohn's disease. The other thing that was important is the samples were collected right at diagnosis. So um, there weren't any changes that could be explained by the treatment the patients were receiving for their Crohn's disease. What the researchers found looking at the different communities of bacteria in children with Crohn's disease versus children who are healthy is very different um, types of families of bacteria um, that were colonizing those patients. Um, this doesn't mean that uh, specific bacteria that we may see more of in a patient with Crohn's disease is necessarily the cause of their disease. Um, but we see clear changes in, in what kinds of bugs are colonizing those kids. This is going to allow researchers to begin to drill down to the mechanism that's, that's driving that change and hopefully the mechanism that's driving the disease. An interesting thing that they also saw was patients who'd been on antibiotics recently had even bigger changes uh, or more amplified changes in these populations. This is a part of a bigger project that's really very important and I think in the big picture uh, is going to change how we treat children with Crohn's disease. The organization that uh, collected all of these samples is called ProKids and it's been sponsored by the Crohn's and Colitis Foundation of America. It also now has funding from the NIH. This is 30 pediatric IBD centers and in, in the case of this project over 1200 children with Crohn's disease were enrolled in a very large study and are being followed for years from their diagnosis forward. The goal is really to be able to identify specific things whether it's genetics, whether it's immune profiles, or the types of bacteria that are colonizing our gut that can predict how their disease is going to behave moving forward. The goal in the, in, the, in, the, in the biggest picture would be much more individualized medicine where we can look at these factors when somebody's diagnosed with Crohn's disease and pick a treatment that's tailored to their specific problem.